What's going on, y'all? Today we're going to be talking about three summertime tips for catching giant speckled trout. This information is gold, and we're about to drop nuggets. Tip number one, timing is everything. In the summer, there really are only four feeding windows, okay? You're gonna get your sunrise, sunset, and then the start of each, the rising and the falling tides. That's pretty much it. Your speckled trout are not gonna feed much outside of that. Not to say you can't catch trout outside of those windows, but that is your most opportune time to catch a big trout at sunrise, sunset, and then the start of the falling and the start of the rising tides. Your best window of opportunity to catch those fish are really your sunrise and sunset. Your feeding windows in those periods are gonna be anywhere from about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on your moon phase. Okay, the brighter the moon, the shorter that feeding window becomes. The darker the nights are, meaning that there's no moon, it's a new moon, the, uh, the, the longer that morning feeding window is gonna last. Those trout, they're gonna move up on those flats. They're gonna feed pretty heavy in those windows. And outside of that, they're just gonna chill out. Y'all, it, it, it's summertime, so we gotta remember that the, the water is warmer and um, these fish are not gonna be super active. Uh, it, with that warmer water, it's, it's kinda like us. You know, when we're out in the heat all day, we're not going to continue to keep running around. We're going to look for shade, look for somewhere to relax um, and, and try to cool down for the, for the day. So timing is everything. Making sure you're at your best spot at sun up, sundown, and then at the rise and fall of the tides. Tip number two, and this is really the meat and potatoes of everything. Okay. Tip number two is all about location. Location, location, location. Here's the deal, y'all. These speckled trout and giant speckled trout in particular, in these dog days of summer when it's real, real hot, they're going to be in one of two places. My, my number one place to target giant speckled trout in the summer is a shallow flat in very close proximity to a deep ledge. So if I'm looking on Google Earth at new spots or spots that I've traveled around and fished before, I am going to look for areas of, with very, very deep, sharp, defined ledges close to a shallow flat. Um, those That deeper water is going to have cooler water, right? So those thermoclines deeper down in that water, they're gonna hit pockets of water where you know maybe it's only a couple of degrees cooler but it makes a huge difference to them so those trout are going to ease up early morning or in those feeding windows like we talked about earlier they're going to ease up on that flat to feed and then after that they're going to retreat back down to that ledge but they're not going to travel far from the ledge to feed so when you're fishing Make sure you're close to a ledge and you're working a flat and wherever there's bait, there's bound to be trout. The second area is docks close to shallow flats. So the key is the shallow flat, right? The shallow flat holds the bait. It's easier for those trout to hunt and eat on a shallow flat than it is deeper contours, ledges, and places like that. So what we're looking for here are docks that are really really close to a shallow flat the reason we want those docks is because it's a lot of shade and cover for those trout so that water is a lot cooler sitting up under those uh those docks a lot of docks have deeper water where the homeowners have kind of dredged out so their boats can fit up in the slip so those trout get up around those docks hang out in the shade and then when it's time to eat they slip out there around the flat so we really want to fan out and cast around a lot of docks that are 
uh, surrounding shallow flats. All right, and the third tip is size. Okay, lure size, bait size, all of that matters. Um, traditionally, we're kind of we we tune into a, a belief that in order to catch big fish, we need to have big lures, right? And that's true for a lot of the time. However, when we get into these really, really hot days in summer, you can throw big baits all you want, and a lot of times they're just not going to get bit. These trout, they, um, they, they key in on smaller baits in these hotter days, and the reason they do that is because the bigger the bait that they eat, the more their metabolism has to work to break that bait down and it runs their temperatures a little bit warmer. So it's already warm. That's driving everything that we're talking about is warm water temperatures. These fish want to be cooler and in turn they're going to eat smaller baits to keep their metabolism from having to work too hard and causing them to overheat. So throwing smaller baits are going to get you not only more bites, it's going to get you bigger bites. Um, also, we want to focus on a finesse presentation. Y'all see me throw the flutes a lot, and the reason I throw the flutes is because it's a finesse presentation. It almost, it looks like it's a lazy bait, kind of just cruising through the area. It's an easy target, something that's not going to run from the trout. The trout don't want to play that, that cat and mouse game right now. They're focused on trying to eat food and relax. They don't want to chase something that's going to be erratic, run from them. They don't want to it they don't want to spend those calories chasing food that might get away. So the lazier that that bait's looking, the right size of that bait is going to get more and more bites. So that's why y'all see me throw that H&K custom tackle fluke and uh, I don't know what more I can do to make y'all believers in that bait, but it absolutely catches fish. It's the perfect size. Um, and, I mean, just trout eat it year-round, and it is a great summertime bait. Baits that you do not want to use. Um, and this is just my preference. It, it's things that have worked for me over the years, but I won't use erratic baits um, like crankbaits, miradines, uh, things of that nature. I, I will throw top water uh, very early and very late in the evening. Um, it, it just seems to just get smashed. But um, things like miradines, um, things like jerk baits, hard jerk baits, twitch baits, things that are looking very erratic through the water, I try to stay away from that. Um, there are times to use those baits, but that's for another video, y'all. So those are three tips to help y'all go out and catch giant trout right now, okay? Making sure you're on time, you're in the right spot, early morning, late evening, start of the falling and start of the rising tides, okay? Location, focus on deep water ledges in close proximity to shallow flats or docks hanging around shallow flats. And then last but not least, Make sure that your baits that you're using, your lures that you're using are not overly big and they're not too erratic. Y'all, I hope this was helpful. If it was, hit that like button, comment with any questions, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.